the, the Spirit of the Lord coming in and taking over. And I want you guys to know, I can already start to feel this ground shake. Confusion, division, and despair are what the enemy has used in the city of Seattle to keep it divided. And Ryan has the gift of prophecy. Ryan, what is it? Basically, it's hearing what the Lord is saying to people. a part of a certain faith, certain yes. spiritual path, or <laughs> atheist? He's atheist. Okay. I'm, uh, I was raised Catholic, but I haven't okay. been to Mass since okay. I was a kid. <laughs> we could, don't pray for me, pray for my son. Okay. I'd say that there are lots and lots of atheists and agnostics like me. I am a firm believer in Darwinism and in our biological life cycles, and that's it. So, uh, well, thank you. For yeah, your sure. Lord bless you. Yeah, Lord bless thank you. you. What I heard for that guy is that he has uh, a gift of passing on wisdom to kids. I encourage him to do that without trying to make it seem like it was some spiritual weird stuff that he wouldn't receive well. It doesn't mean More like an agnostic kind of. Yeah, maybe no. there is a God. What do you think it would? What do you think it would take to say yes to God? Like, what would you? What would have to happen in your life? Have you ever thought about that? Yeah, I've thought about that. But you know, I think that you, know, you have to believe in. In the last two days, we have had more people than I can even remember start speaking in tongues for the first time ever. This has not been a priority, but I don't want to—I don't want to quench what the Spirit is doing. With any this is time to revive. and principalities that um, Rhonda was talking about that are here in the Seattle Center and it's like they're recoiling from a campfire it's like the darkness is being pushed back it's like they're trying to come and they're just not being able to get close and everything starts to rewind. how would you describe the spiritual atmosphere in Seattle very eclectic. Well, it can go from punk to rager to I want to do a hit of Molly. Are you guys of some certain faith or religion? No. Uh, we're scientists. You're scientists? Yeah. yeah. Do you have your doctorate? No. <laughs> Thank you. 
Um, I'd probably be more more agnostic than anything else. Do you yes, believe right. that he actually then on the third day rose again? Uh, not necessarily, no. So I actually gotta catch this bus though, guys. I'm yeah. sorry. First thought when I say Jesus. If I were Christian, I would know that that's the the, um, the only way to salvation. But I'm not. At what point did you say, I'm done? I was kind of like, if I'm not living that way, then why would I say that I am? Jesus, what is it? What comes to your mind when I say Jesus? He's a nice guy, but uh, he was kind of dead. No, this, happened, this is one of the most atheist cities in America. Like seriously, you're gonna, get, you're gonna get a lot of answers like that. That's true. It's like I fight me. If there is a God, I want to kick his ass when I need him because he's a oh. for real. Like because like it's not it's not cool.